Hey there, I'm Mark from Nikon here at the CES booth at 2024, and we're going to show you some of the latest and greatest from the Nikkor Z system. Uh, we celebrated 90 years of making lenses. The company's over 100 years old, and we have the latest from 2024, starting with the Z30 that you see here. We have a full-on creator's kit coupled with not only the camera, uh, standard zoom lens here at 16 to 50, but as well as a Rode microphone and a small rig tripod that doubles as a handle if you want to do a hand holding. The great thing about the Z30 is that it has a, let me see if I can pull this off, a front uh, flip swivel screen. So when you want to do vlogging or selfies, you have that right there. And we also couple it with remote control. Hey, that's a Bluetooth remote control from Nikon. And you can use it to uh, start and stop the video. And you can also use it to uh, uh, even power zoom. Now, speaking of power zoom, we also came out with a lens recently that's a 12 to 28. This is a power zoom lens. This is great for creators and vloggers because it gives you a smooth zoom. But more importantly, uh, the 12 millimeter on it gives you a very, very, very wide angle. And um, especially when you're, when you have a short arm selfie, <laughs> you can get a lot in there. So, you know, most people hold the selfie out this way. I'll, I'll show you how, how much that gets in. I, you know, we can get both of us in there with my arm. See that? That's 12 millimeter in length. So um, you might not even need a, a stick with that. Now also our newest camera that we just launched is the Nikon ZF. There's been a lot of interest from retro or heritage inspired styled cameras. Uh, about a year after we released the DX format ZFC, this is now the ZF. This is full frame. It comes in black, but we also have a bunch of other colors, which I'll show you in a second. It kits with a 40 millimeter F2 lens uh, that also has the classic styling of the knurling of the dials. You'll see here, these are even brass dials here underneath the black paint. And um, new technologies that we've in, introduced there is the new uh, Xpeed 7 processor that gives it uh, autofocusing similar to a Z8. And as well, we have new pixel shift technology that can give you up to 90 megapixels. Great for commercial photographers or even landscape photographers. 90 megapixels that we merge with up to 32 shots together. And um, of course, we still have the ZFC, uh, the Z50, and even the Z5 on this table here. Uh, interestingly enough, we even rigged out a ZF with a sort of a video rig here just to show the potential because this has uh, appealed to people doing video as it has internal N-Log 10-bit H.265 without uh, the use of an external monitor or recorder like a Ninja. Now, uh, yeah, so over here we're showing a lot of our DX uh, lenses, like I said, Nikkor has been around for 90 years, starting, I believe it was 2023, so last year. We're celebrating our 90th year now. And uh, in that time, in the last five years, we've come out with over 40 lenses for the Z system. So everything you see here at the show has come out really in the last five years, I would say, or less. So uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, we have a lens wall just showcasing the breadth of everything that we currently have in production right now, whether it's super telephoto, macro lenses, fast f1.2 lenses standard s line series lenses that's what we call our top of the line that's the s line uh, prime compact 1.8 lenses lenses that are you know less than a thousand thousand dollars that give you pristine quality or lenses that uh, have built-in teleconverters such as the 600 millimeter f4 or the 400 millimeter 2.8 um, over here to my left we have uh, the different colors that are available this year also for the zf it comes in six premium colors that are exclusive, that are available exclusively from the Nikon website. Um, similarly to the ZFC, these colors uh, express, uh, you know, the personality of the photographer, but a little bit more muted, as it's kind of a little bit more mature product. Over here on my right, we have all our telephoto lenses. New this year is the 600 millimeter 6.3. Um, actually, I have it right over here. This is the 600 millimeter 6.3. This is based on the Phase Fresnel lens system in which we were effectively be able to miniaturize a 600 millimeter lens. And uh, a lot of people have been excited over this. But I think the number one telephoto, super telephoto lens that people have been excited about is the 180 to 600, which I have right behind me. I'm gonna bring you over on this side. 
This right here has been a highly anticipated model for some time now. It's the 180 to 600 zoom lens. It has an aperture of 5.6 to 6.3. It's a full frame lens with a built-in collar. This is uh, about $1,700, $1, but it represents such a drastic leap in uh, quality from the 200 to 500 that we had for the F-mount, and it's now designed specifically for the Z-mount system. Tremendous value for the zoom range that it has. And uh, you see everything else on this table, it's attached in this case to a Z8. Now we really have uh, compelling offerings for the wildlife birding as well as sports photographers that need to shoot from far distances. Um, also on the table right beside it, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is what we're using right now to shoot our professional portraits with right behind you, which we'll show you in a second. This is the 138mm 1.8 Plena. We gave this lens a special name similarly to the Noct that we announced uh, a few years ago. This is a special lens in that it has a beautiful, beautiful round bokeh. Uh, we've never had a 135, 1.8 with these specifications before. The, the clarity, the crispness, and the, and the speed of autofocus is actually rather remarkable. Um, Z8 is the cameras that we have on this table, great for creators, professional photographers, and also video hybrid shooters. It was rated as camera of the year from DP Review and a bunch of other websites for the year of 2023. It's just got a tremendous 45 megapixel sensor and up to 8K video with 60 frames per second, even shooting in RAW, all to the internal memory card. Um, that's the power of the Z8, which is essentially the exact same camera as the Z9 just in a smaller body format. And behind me over here, we're using that 135 millimeter 1.8 Plena, as well as the new Nikon ZF, with our Nikon staff taking complimentary portraits here of the patrons at CES 2024. We're emailing them the photos in black and white, as well as in color. The new black and white features on the ZF have uh, a certain character 